Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 4 Monarch Student Prime Brennis. Um, Alright, so... Last thing we've been doing, I've just been, you know, exploring in a circular fashion, and looks more my worker's about to come off the production line. So, yeah, I should clear the fog. This is prime land right here. I'm definitely probably going to move over there and plant a city immediately, because this border is right along there. If you look closely, you can, I don't know if you can on this resolution, I'm so sorry, but... Um, I can see his border in the fog. Alright, looks like he got cow also. Isn't that great? Alright, um... I don't want to waste these floodplains, but... Uh, where should I build? Eh, maybe I should get a little bit more knowledge of the southern terrain. Shall be the food okay, of animal cattle, husbandry, but I'm of definitely time, going to need to get this sheep. spot quickly because that is like within breathing distance of Julius Caesar, as in mine, but still, you never know. I think the monarch guy has a can handicap on the ability to produce, well, positive handicap on the ability to produce settlers, so, or anything for that matter. Alright, looks like I've got a general knowledge of my map. And I can start fog busting with this scout. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep exploring with the scout and I'll train a warrior for that. Ooh, horses, I did not notice that. Along with gold on this river. Eh, I could make it happen, but windmills are gonna come into play, which is not available in the ancient game. Because there's just not enough food to support. Plains, hills, and desert, gold mines, and uh, I don't know. Anyway, here's our worker. So I can go ahead and get this. Yeah. Alright. We want the extra production here. Three warriors. Tends to work. I can use those as spawn busters and finish my little circular route, so I need to kind of specialize in a direction with this scout. Alright, so, um, we can build our pasture now. And we'll finish agriculture by the time this is finished. So the next thing my worker will do is to build a farm on this floodplains tile here. Alright, where will I send you? I will send you to the vast unknown of the West. Okay, um, generally at level 1, when I finish this warrior here, I'm probably not going to garrison it because barb animals cannot enter cultural borders. Oh wow, I'm dead. A bear and a wolf, uh, panther, excuse me. At least I'm on a forested hill, so that'll prove to be quite a lot of defensive bonus, but I'm still completely screwed because one strength against three and then two, and it's goodbye, scout. <laughs> now, um, anyway, like I'm saying, agriculture will be finished by the time my fat pasture is, so I can go ahead and build that farm over there as a means of food, additional. Yeah, of course it died, but it won the first battle. So, I'll use this sort of as a fog buster, but I also need to garrison in my future city spot here with this warrior that's coming up. So, I need to figure out where I want it to be built. Obviously, farthest away from him because I don't want cultural too much cultural pressure. It seems logical to just place it here in the middle. It gives me a nice riverside. Um, four workable floodplains access to the gold and the corn and another hill, so without too much extra thought put in, in the interest of time, I'm gonna go ahead and place a little dot mark there. Alt S is the hotkey in case you didn't know. Um there we go, finished agriculture. Oh, farmers. 
grave it, your summer is beware. And, uh, and good. We have access to Cal through... I don't even know how. I thought you had to have sailing to use rivers as a road. But anyway, I'm not complaining. So, the next thing for me to do is to move up here and build a farm. This warrior is going to go ahead and fog must over there. And in fact, I don't even need to put a marker there because I mean, my warrior is going to be fortified. Alright, at level 2. I'll work that farm, and then it'll be an extra turn before I can go ahead and start building that mine, but... Okay. Generally, the AI doesn't start building their city until, like, 2600 BC, I think. Building their second settler, excuse me, not city. And, um... I think the I read that the fog bus radius is five by five, so I want to send my second one up there. All right, Hinduism has been discovered. So as soon as this third warrior is done, I need to build a settler. All right, mining. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. And. That river will serve as a road between our two city-states. Oh, I should have considered. I uh, don't know if I want to improve the marble yet. But... Uh, masonry or archery. I think the latter is going to be better at first. Just because the barbs get pretty nasty sometimes. Okay, I went from 15 frames per second, frames per second to 60. So I don't know what's going on, but hopefully with experience I'll be able to figure out this and maybe you'll get to see the later videos in higher resolution than this. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, it's time to mine this hill down here. This is my third tile improvement. And after this third warrior I need a settler. And this warrior... Get up there as quickly as you can. And this third warrior will spawn bust in the west. This is not... This is extremely sloppy. So, I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I'm doing this wrong. No, no, this will work. Fortify bonus is better than a river bonus. I'll keep it where it is. Thank you, Lord. Okay, good. I uh, won that battle. turns I should get my settler finished and I can hopefully make it cross. Do not throw the arrow which will return against you. And now I will get Mason. Even though yeah, yeah, I'll work my quarry. It'll 
I'm not getting it. Right in the meantime, I'll uh. What will I do? I guess I could build a farm down here. Let's consider this the amount of food I'm actually gonna be uh needing to run my first six tiles, which is gonna be I guess three food. If I build the farm, that'll be three, six, and then ten. You know, divided by. So I can support two. Uh, tiles with no food, which will be these two mines. No, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and build that farm. That should work out fine. So I'm gonna build a farm directly south of my capital. And, uh, now that my mine is finished, I need to be working that tile for more yield. Alright. Yay, I surpassed Alexander in score, if that means anything. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna explore a little before I commit to fog busting, spawn busting, whatever you're gonna call it. And my frame rate again. Oh well, um, anyway, uh, uh, it looks like I'm running out of time, so I'll see you next time on the next, uh, installment of Let's Play Civilization 4 Monarch Student Prime. See you next time.